How does visualization work? Have you ever had a dream that felt like it was really happening? When you woke up, your body might still have been responding to the events in the dream. You might have a real emotional reaction to the situation that you found yourself in during the dream. This is just one example of how the brain can control our bodies and lives in ways beyond our comprehension or control. Memories can act in a similar way. When we look back on things we experienced in our past, it can cause us to have physical and emotional reactions. In fact, sometimes our memories can be rewritten in ways that allow us to experience something that didn't really happen. But if we are convinced one way or another that the memory is real, we will go through life believing that the things you felt and experienced truly happened. Creativity and imagination can often be confused as actual events in the mind's eye and create certain responses in an individual. Now, imagine yourself taking control of the emotions in the events that the brain is processing. Imagine yourself coming up with the reality that your mind believes and the perspective that it works from. Think about how much more productive you would be and how much more you would accomplish if the brain were on your side instead of against you. By deciding the things that we tell our brains to focus on, we essentially empower ourselves at our deepest level to help us to enhance our moods and find confidence in our actions and goals. As a popular saying goes, seeing is believing. If our brains see something, they will ultimately not be able to tell the difference between the truth and reality. Have you ever been afraid of a horror movie even though you know that it isn't real? It's the same kind of concept. Visualization can help in so many ways. It has even been used to help stroke victims to prevent the atrophy of their muscles. Simply visualizing the movement of their bodies is enough to trigger our brain to direct the blood flow to the places it should be. It can even prevent the brain from being negatively impacted by blood clots and reoxygenate areas that would otherwise be in danger from the impact of the stroke. Visualization works in a way that repetitive words and lists and plans don't. If the brain can see your plan, then it can make the necessary allowances to help us achieve our goals. We can go blue in the face telling ourselves what to think, but at the end of the day, it can be one of the most difficult ways to enact change in our lives. Sometimes people aren't positively impacted by this strategy at all, and instead find themselves feeling defeated and discouraged and increasing the stress in their lives because of how badly they want to make positive changes, but they don't seem to be coming along in the way they need to see progress. Our brains can easily tune out an overload of information that doesn't seem relevant to any specific circumstances. However, if it is stimulated visually, then it makes that much more difference. We are visual creatures and often learn through action and observation. We have been biologically designed in a way that ensures that visualization is a technique that will help us to prepare for our lives and help us to survive. Every single one of us is capable of taking our performances to a new level, and the technique of visualization can only serve to help us do so in an easier way. Processing images and implementing them to our daily lives is a great way to help us prepare for the future. Imagining a situation or a conversation going well can help us to feel the confidence that we need to ensure that these situations or conversations actually do go well. Consider it practice for your brain in events that matter the most. This is how athletes benefit so much from visualization. When they aren't even physically practicing out on the field, they can visualize themselves making the play they were meant to make and responding properly to issues they may be struggling with. It's an advantage that we allow ourselves so that our reflex time is getting more practice than simple physical repetition. We are preparing our brains to respond appropriately to a given situation and allowing ourselves the ability to do so. It not only helps us maintain the confidence that we need to keep a level head in situations that may otherwise feel overwhelming, but it allows us time to prepare a response that we can be proud of. Visualization is a powerful tool that can have a real and legitimate effect on the body. But as you may be able to imagine, this can also be problematic for us if we are stuck in negative thought cycles. If we are constantly worrying about bad things happening to us or around us, there may come a point where our brains manifest that negativity into depression or other difficulties and emotions. It may help you to sabotage yourself and create the negative situations that you are most afraid of. This is why it's always important to maintain a positive outlook on life, even when things are the most difficult they possibly could be. If we are fixated on the bad and imagining bad things happening that haven't yet, it will cause stress to the body that sometimes we can't even comprehend. These issues can manifest physically and mentally and impair us in our daily lives. Don't let this happen to you. Instead, harness the power of visualization to help you to become the person that you want to be. Imagine the absolute best case scenario for you and your life and lift that stress right off of your shoulders. It may seem strange to think about how much power our thoughts and mental images actually have, but at the end of the day, they can be incredibly beneficial or incredibly harmful. Only we can decide which it is how our lives will be affected. Try to make the right choice.
For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.